So we're back, uh, Jai First Class Monster Hunter Legends, to uh, bring you a video of how to use your coatings for the bow. Um, as stated in the control video, just go ahead and press uh, X and A, or previously triangle and circle, and that's how you go ahead and load up your weapons. Now to shuffle through, press L and X, and um, L and B to go down, L and X to go up, and we'll go through the coatings. Um, we did mention that each weapon has different types of coatings it can use, but we'll go with go over the ones they have in the demo and um, just tell you how to use them in a fight. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and start with exhaust coatings. Load those up. They actually exhaust and fatigue monsters. A lot of people don't use these, but um, I personally prefer starting the fight with these if I'm in a large group of people because... For one, it, it they exhaust the monster. If you see the monster drooling, then put that trap down. They stay in traps longer, and when they're fatigued trying to catch their breath, it's a lot more time for more people to go ahead and put in damage. Close range coatings only do about 30% damage, but they have to be done at close range. And um, they're good for meleeing. I'm not sure the exact range you have to be when using close range arrows. But I pretty much use close range arrows after I use power coatings, which are 50% more damage at pretty much any range. It's just 50 more percent damage. And uh, let's see, we have your poison coatings. Go ahead and use these to apply dots or damages over time. The poison coatings have been improved since the previous Monster Hunter title and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Honestly, I can't remember ever using poison coatings, but they're actually more useful now. So they're actually something I do use, would recommend using, good DOTs. One thing to note is when you press circle, you can go ahead and apply those status effects. Uh, you'll see it when I attack this monster. You see the poison coming out. If it didn't die over time, it would be poisoned. You'll see the purple bubbles coming from his face. And when you use your melee attack you don't lose your arrows so you're applying um, an attribute without actually going ahead and using it. Uh, paralyzing coating paralyzes the monsters. Granted we can't really use this in the demo. I mean you can but it's really a waste because it just buys you some time to get more hits in. Great against, well, great against any monster when you're online and you have a full party of four but when you're by yourself uh, paralyzing is pretty pointless all right and don't forget your sleep coatings your uh, sleep coatings actually just put the monsters to sleep they're great for large groups um they're great for solo if you have bombs they're great for large groups because um everybody can go ahead and get sleep bombs in so don't forget about your sleep coatings i personally prefer when i can uh if i'm playing solo i'll start with sleep bombs so i can do maximum bomb damage because monsters take more damage while they're asleep. So if they're asleep, bomb, more damage. And just one last thing of note when you're using coatings, bring ingredients to make more. You j just have the ingredients in your inventory if you can. So when you run out, you can make more. Um, there is a limit of empty bottles you can have. I don't remember what the number is, but Bring a lot of empty bottles, bring the coatings you want to make more of, and um, just stack. Hope this video was helpful. Hope you know how to use your power coatings for the bow now. Thanks for watching.